never do what you want them to do, do they? Just hold on to the nut. And we failed. <laughs> uh, and if you want my like in the video, guys, I really appreciate it. Just scroll down and click that like. Uh, and let's get to it. The current situation today is still on the drive, but we're up in the air. Because this isn't a hard, solid surface, I've had to scratch all the stones away and make sure that everything's down on a solid enough surface. Me being the safety freak, Axle stand, Jack's just pressured just up. It's not actually compressed because obviously the axle stand's taking the most. Um, and then I also ran that underneath there as well. I didn't drive up onto it because bugger that. Um, but I've slid it underneath the wheel just to help out with any issues. It's going to drop down on one of those. Free. Obviously, if you missed the last video, the last video was on the John Fars lowering frames or rails. Um, obviously, check that one out now. Um, I had a quick seat in there. I haven't driven it, just sat in there quickly and I haven't sat in there again since. But um, a good mod, especially if you're taller like myself, um, over six foot, I highly recommend it. Um, and if you are a little bit shorter, these seats are perfect for you anyway, and the standard seats are because they have quite a high sitting point. So, yeah, everything's a little bit lower now to match the car, and it should hopefully add to that feel when I'm driving. What this is all for is to get underneath here, find that linkage up here, if that's pointed in the right place on the camera. And what I need to do is make sure that we're going into first. Because obviously I've got my MOT and I don't want any stupid fails like I had before. So I make sure I actually check everything this time and take my time over the weekend. If I push it over so it hits the wall, it won't go in. I think I've said this on a video before, but just to explain again for you guys, all the way over, push it forward, it's not going in. What you've got to do is sort of be delicate. There's the straight ahead. Got to go over slightly and then it will accept, accept it into the first. But if I come out and pull it to the left, and try and get in again but i know for a fact i'm going to go to the mt center he's going to be like ah oh, don't go far don't go fast don't go fast all oh, right yeah okay so i'm sorting that out all right if you see you can sit in the passenger seat go on then climb into the passenger seat emily's going to come and help i need that down then i can shout at you thank you my beautiful assistants What are you doing in there? Right, Emily, so you need to hold it in the reverse position, please. So up, over and up there. So just hold it there, as in push it to top left. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now try first, second, third, fourth, fifth. <laughs> um, on push it all the way to the left like you're going into first but don't move up and then like push it hard to the left and then try and move up into first oh you dream thank you that'd be 10 pounds please yeah that's right save me so much stress so the next job I just want to quickly do, I don't know if you saw my video the other day, um, but I was just having a little look at the seals. I'm going to drill all these rivets out. One, two, three, four, five. Don't know which drill that I'm going to use, but I've got a range here. Okay, so five mil bit on that first one. I tried a four, a bit too small. Get the five through there and it takes the head straight up. Make sure the other bit's dropped out. Find it. There. Let's get that little one off. Well, you're not going back in. Pray it's just the seals that are getting a bit rusty. Obviously, this is the telltale sign for a lot of people, whoever it's running up. Ah, oh, good girl. We're looking pretty good. So obviously the main points are normally the rears, and you see it sort of creeping up sort of this area, let's say on the back, towards where the rear arch is. So yeah, it's easy enough to check, easy enough to pop off to clean, because then you, um, you can either bolt, sort of stud and nut it, um, or you can just put a, uh, three zip ties along, which is what I do, just the small zip ties. Inside here is where it all builds up nicely as well, so we'll get rid of that. I'm not sure on the best way to attack this, but obviously a common issue is when people jack up um, and then it sort of slowly crushes the seal, opens it up, and that's where it starts to rust. So um, if you guys have any, any sort of good ideas, I sort of happily take them, but pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a metal like sort of spinning wheel, wire wall, wheel thing, whatever you want to call them, wire wheel. And I'm just going to give it a good go around trying to get all the loose rust off. Then I've just got a little bit of cure rust, which you get in a pot, 
I'm just going to dab that on for now. But obviously, if you guys have any better ideas, you might be more clued up on this stuff than me. Um, feel free to help me out. Okay, so before I've attacked it with the wheel, I'm going to have a little look at the Curus bottle because obviously I don't just want to put it on there if I can't do anything else after that, whether I should spray paint it or not. There's a few bits actually still up in, up in that end there, which I might try and get. Sort of giving it a thin coat all over. It's quite hard to make liquid go uphill. <laughs> Gravity does not work like that, but this went pretty black from all the um, cure rust that I put on there, but I've just given it a cheeky little spray paint over the top as well and underneath. So it looks a lot nicer. Whether that has again is the correct way to do it, but it's got to be better than nothing. I washed obviously all that out with the jet wash and just blew it out. Pretty sure water gets behind them anyway, but yeah. Looking good. So yeah, we're going to drop it down um, and then I'm just going to take it on a few drives up and down the drive. Make sure she starts. If not, if obviously if it struggles, I might just put the trickle charger on it quickly. I hope it starts. And it's only been a month, so it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully. One more time and I'll do trick or Okay, so I've just got back from the MIT and I'm straight off to get my son because we're off to a birthday party today doing proper dad stuff. Um, I left my GoPro in my car and then it died, so I couldn't even film when I picked it up, so that was all a bit rubbish. But just to quickly talk through the results some lovely paperwork here. Uh, and we failed! <laughs> uh, Put a little poll out on my YouTube the other day, just as, just to see interestingly. I knew we wouldn't pass. I knew there'd be advisories, the same ones that were last time, but um, a bit annoyed really, and a bit embarrassed about myself. Do not drive until repaired. Is passenger seat insecure? And I may have done the John Falls rails just before. I mean, I sat in it, not for long, but I sat in it, and I thought it was fine. But guess which nut I didn't do. The back left one, the awkward one. Why didn't I do it? I don't know. He said the nut was placed on the bolt, but it wasn't screwed down, so I don't think it would have worked itself loose as an excuse. I think I just didn't do it. So, yeah, that was a bit crap, really. Um, but it also failed in the emissions. I've got a lovely bit of exhaust pipe in the, in the just loose in the car back here, which I told him about to fit. 
but that's okay. We didn't fit it and it failed on the emissions. So we did fit it and then it passed, so that's okay. Um, so yeah, it was emissions uh, and seat loose, uh, monitor or repair, um, standard fitted seat belt missing, obviously because of the half roll cage. Um, I took all that out, but that apparently that goes down as advisory still. Uh, brake hose is slight corrosion, um, which I knew anyway. Um, like I said, we might be changing to braided, braided hoses anyway, um, so that's fine. That's an excuse for an upgrade, which isn't too bad. Um, the rear heat shield loose over the beam, uh, resting on the exhaust pipe. You know, I said about it rattling and I said I wanted to get behind and do it. I didn't get time to get behind and do it. Um, but I asked them if they could just stick a nut or whatever up on it and they did, so that's fine now. So that's sorted, so that's okay. Um, and the last one, which was quite interesting actually, was the power steering component has slight seepage from a component offside front. Inner gator is wet. So pretty much my power steering is leaking. Um, everyone on these cars is obviously changing to electric power steering, um, power assisted steering, um, so that may be something for me to go down in the future. But yeah, that was a fail, obviously sorted out all the things, the emissions, and screwed the bolt in, and then it was fine. Um, obviously I had all my, uh, had all my tyres fitted as well, um, and the overall bill was £222, so it wasn't too bad. That was an MOT, some of the MOT repairs pretty much screwing up a heat shield and screwing down a... 13 mil nut and fitting a small piece of the exhaust required and then refitting the small piece of exhaust that I prefer to have on the car um, yeah it only took an hour so that wasn't too bad um, and then yeah valves, wheel balance um, environmental disposal of old tyres £3 each interesting and then, then yeah the laser tracking as well because my steering wheel was out by about a mile so I need to stop jib jabbing I need to get driving. So yeah, we passed in the end. Bit of a fail, bit embarrassing to be honest. Um, just shows you work on your own car, you should probably check it more than just sitting in the seat for half a second. Um, but yeah, we didn't, so my bad. Yeah, obviously it's a bit annoying. Um, there's a couple of things I've found with the car now that I still need to sort out now. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit annoying on those fails really. I should have checked it. Uh, same as last time, I don't know if you were here watching the channel last time I had an MOT, but it was stupid things like horn and lights not working, and yeah, I seem to embarrass myself every MOT, so I'm a bit annoyed, but just a big old fail on the uh, on the car's history again, but not that I'm ever going to sell it, you know, it's going to stay with me until it dies, <laughs> but yes, it's okay, we're past, we're back in the car, taxed it, obviously, still driving it, um, 313 pounds. I thought it was 330, um, but that was when you spread it over uh, when you spread it over 12 months. But paying monthly, um, it makes it to 330. So uh, yeah, well, I want to say not too bad, but just because it was 15 pound cheaper. But I can't remember what it was last year. But there we are. We enjoy it. What's wrong with the fridge quid for a year of a car that's fun? I'd rather pay that than 20 quid for a car that's crap. That's why I tell myself anyway. She's still uh, driving a bit crap when she's cold, so I'm not gonna. I said about that, I emailed uh, EFI. I haven't heard back from them again yet. I know they obviously, they are proper busy all the time. Uh, but yeah, just waiting on a reply for that for a remap. Um, things I've found that have changed, which I probably need to change soon. Um, if I ever I sort of fully lock on the steering, the tires are rubbing. I think that's because um, they're slightly fatter. They're 50, not 45 anymore. So an extra five mil of, wow, I suppose it's an extra 10 mil of height, really. Five mil on top and a five mil bottom, if that's how it works. Um, it's now touching, um, yeah, the arch lining or the arch. I'm, I don't know. I haven't had time to investigate yet because, uh, yeah, I got it back and now I'm out again. So, uh, yeah, a bit of scrubbing. I, I haven't been around any corners fast yet, but I'm sure that'll uh, influence some scrubbing as well. What else is there to say? So yeah, I need to raise the car up at the front technically by a little bit because now she is proper low. So uh, a couple of turns on the front suspension, I think, just to uh, just to lift that up or sort it. Um, and yeah, that's it really. Um, any other things? Gear stick still rattling. I want to do something about that. That's not massively important. 
Like I said, I've got the lead shot to go inside now rather than the sand. So if you guys want to try that, lead shot apparently is better because it's more dense. Um, and I have some lead flashing, which I don't know if you know what that is. It goes on the outside of houses to stop water getting in pretty much. Um, and, but it's pretty heavy and it's pretty easy to manipulate. So I want to wrap that around the linkage as well. Um, but if you guys are still watching at this point, if you know anything about too much weight on a linkage, does that mess up the gearbox? Does that, I suppose, will put more strain on it? Because um, obviously I don't want to make it bloody heavy as anything and then uh, obviously get more problems down the line. I'd rather listen to the rattle. So yeah, anyway, we're back in the car. Another years of MOT insurance and tax, but so I'm pretty sure I've made the decision to keep going. Don't know which route I'm going to go down power-wise, but I want to put some more money into the car just to change it up for myself. Um, and yeah, we're going to just go hopefully enjoy it. So yeah, I'm going to go get Harrison now and have a good weekend. Um, hopefully you guys have a good weekend as well. I'll try and put this out on Sunday night. Um, but yeah, if you watch to the end, you're a legend. I appreciate it. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time.